Hello and welcome to another My Education BC video tutorial on how to make your own comments. So, just to give you an example, if I look here and I'm setting up my comments, and I go here, we have a comment place where you can just type in your comment. We also have this where you can drop in comments. And they're all broken up into all these different sections. So you can just click on it and it goes in there. But sometimes the school comments aren't exactly what you want because they could be, there could be something that you want to talk about that was very specific to your class. Like you did a very specific project. Now making your own, you could type that in or copy and paste it from a Microsoft Word document that you keep on your desktop or in your taskbar. But you know, putting in your own, especially if you're going to do that special little project from year to year, putting in your own is, I think, well worth it. And if you hit this drop down, I hit this drop down arrow here, you can see I've got one for computers. And I've got three comments for file management. It doesn't, unfortunately, give you the whole thing you said, but you you can break it up. And I have this like file management satisfactory, file management here, uh, good file management needs improvement. Um, and I got FPG for file for final project, good, so on and so forth. I've also got a section on graphic design, so GDS. So it gives you a quick little title. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make these. I'm just going to add one more. I got two for work habits because uh, I run a flip classroom and I have specific work habits for that. So I'm going to make a third one. So I'm going to go cancel this right now. Where do you go? You go in the top tab to tools. You go in the side tab to comments. And you look at your comments and you'll notice I've got 12. And if you want to edit them, all you have to do is click on this 01, okay? And so here's the ID. So I've got 01, so um, I just start, kept them in a numeric order. But then I gave a comment preview, and that's pretty important for you to label that something that you understand. So FMNI means file management needs improvement. Now, I'm going to copy this whole thing. I'm going to use this in my uh, last one because there's very specific text that you want to use. This one capitalizes their first name and it just puts it in. And this one gives you a his or her partway through the sentence. So I'm going to copy this whole thing. Actually, I won't copy this one because it's not close to what I want to use. But at Don Ross Secondary, I'm going to, I'll save, I have these two saved in the teacher common area under the folder My NBC, where, so you can just copy these. So anyways, it's curly bracket, curly bracket, person dot first name, all first name is all one word with an N capitalized, and it's got the up and down, straight up and down character, which I don't even know what that's called, but to find it on your keyboard, it's above the uh, backslash. So you got to go shift backslash right underneath the backspace key on your keyboard. And then it says lower. Same with that thing again, shift backslash, capitalize, curly bracket, curly bracket. And that puts in their first name. This one, curly bracket, curly bracket, person dot gender code straight uh, shift back space sorry shift backslash gender dot his comma her so it's all a little bit technical if you get one letter wrong it's a bit of a pain so at don ross i'm going to put them in but on the video you know you'll have to just look at it and type it out if you're using the video so anyways i'm going to go back to my school comments using my breadcrumbs because here's my work habits one. This is work habits excellent. And I'm going to copy this. 
because I use the his, her here. No, the first name. Projects are taught using video tutorials and so-and-so uh, use these videos very well. Excellent independent learning. So I'm just going to go control C and I'm going to go cancel and then I'm going to go options and add. And the last one was 12. So I'm going to go 13. And then I'm going to call this W H space G. So work habits are good. And I'm going to go control V projects are taught using video tutorials and so and so use these videos. So projects are taught using video tutorials and this person used their videos most of the time, although sometimes was reluctant to use the videos and sometimes did not bring their headphones. So now it must have this category. So I'm going to keep it in the same one because I don't want to go to more than one. And then this one was work habits. So then they line up together. So it's really nice. Then I hit save. And now if I go back to my, sorry, I went too far on my breadcrumbs. Now I've got all of them. Very, very handy to use. Okay. That is how you make your own comments. Thanks for watching.